Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're at the 2012 LA Auto Show, checking out some of the greenest, most tech-filled and badass cars and concepts on the planet. Not a bad way to spend a day. So tell me a little bit about this energy force concept you guys have here at the show. The LA Auto Show every year does a design challenge, and this year's theme was what will police vehicles of the future look like? Oh, uh, yes. The energy force stores water in a tank on its roof. It has a fuel cell drive. So really, a fuel cell vehicle is an electric car that makes its own power on board. So by taking the water on the rooftop, we pass it through um, an electric current, which makes hydrogen. That's what we use to power the fuel cells and drive the electric vehicle. It actually has hot swappable battery packs and where the running boards would be on a traditional oh, SUV. Very cool. Based on how much charge is in those batteries, the color of the highlight lights will change. What? So, so like yeah. everyone looking at the car knows like he needs 20% more, more charge. Power, exactly. <laughs> What we brought today is on one side the BMW i3 Concept Coupé, which shows you a little bit more of the serious production cars in terms of door design and interior materials we're using. And of course, the BMW i8 Concept Roadster yeah. i3 will come at the end of next year. At the beginning of 2014, the i8 will hit the road. We have a car that works very strongly with connectivity. All the information you need on your smartphone app, battery status of charging times, you can pre-plan your trip by choosing specific parking garages, pre-book them, your navigation That's leads awesome. you there. And with this car, you have a carbon fiber passenger cell, an aluminum space frame on the bottom where the battery cell is, which means you have a light top, the lowest center of gravity possible, and this gives you extremely agile driving behavior. And very rigid torsion. Exactly, so this is going to be a lot of fun to drive. Yeah. Fiat brand, this is really our expansion, our next chapter, if you will. This time we're going high performance in a, in a different way. Yeah, yeah. We're bringing performance to the electric side. And instead of designing an electric car, let's design a Fiat 500 that offers customers the electric option. That's pretty cool. So you're going to place it kind of within your current model exactly. lineup dollars wise. It's not going to be this kind of outlier that's right. like, well, it is electric, so that's why it's twice as much money. We have a car that charges in less than four hours with level two charging, has more than 80 miles of range, 111 horsepower, which is more than the base car. Yep. I'm here with the Fiat 500e. It gave us the opportunity to redo the floor pan, shift the battery toward the back, redistribute the weight, and keep it fun and nimble to drive. You guys decided to go with the Spark to make it an EV. You've got a whole lineup of vehicles you could have chosen. Why the Spark? Well, I mean, you look at Spark, it's been out in the marketplace for about four or five months. It's doing extremely well on both coasts. It's doing extremely well with urban dwellers. Spark EV, of course, is largely a commuter urban car, and we think it's a perfect fit. Batteries, a little over 20 kilowatt hours of energy. We believe that when we're done with certification testing and everything else, that we will be in the top tier of range for electric vehicles. We initiated not a series of large changes, but a whole series of very small changes to address aerodynamics. We leverage the shutter system on the front grille. When you're highway speeds and you don't need all that airflow, you close that opening effectively. Yeah. You drive the air around the car right. rather than through, and it reduces the amount of turbulence, air turbulence that's sure. occurring. We actually reduced the uh, coefficient of drag by about a little, little over 30 counts, which is huge. Wow. So you guys are also doing this really cool kind of tech aspect of using Siri. Yes. We partnered with Apple, and we now have the ability to access Siri directly from the radio. Oh, the wow. Touch of the it's screen. like a Siri button, essentially. Is essentially, correct. Wow. We think that offering it at the lower end, and right now we're talking about sub-25,000 after federal tax incentives. That's I mean, great. There isn't anybody in no, that range, No, nobody's right? in that spot. So it's a great place to be, and we think we're going to be able to offer it as a vehicle that, you know, more people will be able to afford. Yeah. All right, so that's it for our day at the auto show. Saw a bunch of really cool cars, some going into production now, some very soon, and some that are concepts. So, unfortunately, probably never will. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.